Hi guys, how are you all doing? This is MJT Reviews here again, bringing you the best in model kit reviews. I hope you're all doing well. As it's Easter today, I would like to personally wish you all a lovely Easter. I hope you're having a lovely time with your friends and family. Um, and not getting too overdosed on chocolate. <laughs> but anyway, um, I picked this kit up the other day and um, I did not get it from the model shop, guys. I actually got it from a charity shop. And believe it or not, it was... I think it was a uh, three pound or three or four pounds, something like that, in that price range. And um, I just seen it and I thought, wow, you know, I've just got to have it. Um, but on the other side of it, I'm not actually building this kit, guys. Um, on a personal note, I'm actually um, a thought of a friend. Um, I did think about building it myself, but because. My mate's such a good friend to me and he sent me loads of good kits. Um, I've got loads and loads of kits in the back cupboard and they're all just stacking up and stacking up. <laughs> it's crazy, guys. There must be about 20 kits in there or more and I'm getting a massive Yunkers U88 soon. Um, it's a one thirty second scale, so stay tuned for that one, guys. But um, anyway, I figured I would send this one to my friend. Um... I know he's going to love it and he's such a good mate to me so I thought why not and I just hope he likes it because um, it really is a nice plane and yeah so but anyway getting down to the bottom of it um, the size variation in this area well dimension sorry it's 24 by 3 centimeters and 20 by 1 centimeters so yeah guys it's not a bad size kit I mean I have built one before, I've built the RAF version of this one, and yeah, the RAF one was slightly a little bit bigger than I built. But anyway, you get some pictures, that just looks like wheels and bombs, it doesn't show you the plane, which is unfortunate. And you get the colour variations here as well, so there's like, if you're using, the th see the thing guys, if you're actually using, um enamels or acrylics it does give you the numbers but i tend to use um enamels because i like the shine that it gives um and on the back here you get like a couple of pictures of some of the models that they do in their range so you've got the 109g10 and i have i've never built that one and um, hopefully i could get it in one thirty second scale it'd be quite nice i've done the hawker hunter and the Hindenburg I've never done. The Airbus A300-600 ST Beluga or Beluga, whatever it's called. I guess that's taken after the Super Guppy guys. Um, but it just looks so ugly. I mean, uh, it might be a nice. <laughs> it it sort of like reminds me of Thunderbirds if you look at it because it's like at the back, it's got like the little one mark there. And it's got the like tail sticking up. Just looks like a, <laughs> in the variation towards it, you know what I mean? But it's nah. <laughs> it's a bit ugly for my liking. And they've got the famous Starfighter there. I love the Starfighter. I'm looking to get a bigger model of the Starfighter. It's such a nice kit. And then we have a NATO helicopter NH ninety. Which does look quite nice as well. I stopped building helicopters ages ago, guys, because um <sighs> the rotor blades just snap off too easy and when you're moving about and stuff like that and uh, I just find planes a lot more better so and this is an end loader guys which means that it opens from the side I mean to be honest with you I like my boxes to open at the top for some reason well these are all different I don't know so I'm going to put that over there and show you what we get so we're greeted by two loads of plastic um, which looks promising so I'm gonna get to this part so bear with me a minute I'm sure he won't mind me opening this because I just sealed it back up again for him so <laughs> right oh what's this um, some sort of leaflet I've never had this in Ravel kits, 
So they must have just thrown this in from a die cast car or something because it's full of you know, die cast model cars and stuff. <laughs> wow. I've got to say, that's caught my eye a little bit, that one there. Uh, my granddad would love that. Because <laughs> he's in a little bubble cars like that. <laughs> yeah. Definitely into all that sort of stuff. Jeez. That's some sort of like Jetsons car. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Oh, uh, God. I'm a collector of die cast cars as well. I mean, I've got loads here. So, yeah. If you're looking at the bottom there, these are like pint glasses that I got the other day. So, yeah. Free with uh, when I bought the beer. So, <laughs> I don't mind a few beers now and again. So, you know. <clears throat> right. So, anyway. Let's get to the kit itself. So, from what I can see, it's, it's not bad at all, actually. It's... Yeah, it, it doesn't feel like it's going to snap or anything like that. It's actually quite nice on some of the riveting on it and stuff. It's not raised panel lines, actually, so that's a good point. I'd like to... Because I don't like raised panel lines. So... And that's... It's actually, styling of it's pretty nice. So, yeah, it's... I'm actually impressed, to be honest. And then we've got the instrument panels here. Where the cockpit goes. Just trying to focus, focus, camera, focus. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting a new camera shortly, so <laughs> try not to worry about it. Um I'm just trying to get it focused. Ah there you go. There we go. You can actually see it, can't you? Some small little dials on there, so yeah. And then we've got the seats. The ejection seats and stuff. We've got the wheels there. We've got the chairs. And then we've got other little bits and bobs. And then we've got the cockpit area. With some other dials on there if you look. It could have done a little bit better but then again you get what you pay for don't you. <laughs> I'm actually quite amazed because when I got this kit everything was all in its packaging still. I mean, from a charity shop, you'd think otherwise, but, you know, I was quite lucky. So I just hope he's proud of this kit, because, uh, getting a good kit, like. And that's not raised panel lines. It might look raised from, uh, from where the camera angle is, but it's not raised, so don't worry, guys. I mean, my mate has to worry about it, because, uh, he's getting the kit, so... <laughs> He'll do it all up nice. I know he will. So, yep, it's actually really nice to be honest with you. It's not a bad looking kit. The the yeah uh, the RAF tornado one that I got, it was more detailed than this one to be honest. But uh, for a nineteen ninety eight kit, what can you expect? So. It's, Kind of old, so I mean, he won't mind that. He likes vintage old kits, so I mean, I've got away with a couple of vintage old kits, guys, but it just matters on like how you get go around it and how you go about doing them because some of them can be really, really crappy. And you know, I've had some bad luck with some vintage ones over the years where the decals have just fallen to pieces as soon as you put them on, so yeah. So anyway, he comes, you'll notice how they're different in colour, so I'll just point that out. Um, so it's got swivel wings, so that's a bonus, you'll like that. I know it's not the biggest uh, jet in the world, <laughs> but it'll do him. And you've got your little wheel well inside there, which looks pretty cool. And got some more stuff that you can put on it. And you got the, the you got the back tail fins. And you've got some more things to put on the chairs, I think they are. All the seats inside. And then you've got the air intakes there. The cowlings. 
And then you've got some other little bits and pieces that go on there. So, awesome. And then, right on the last part, we have the wing pylons that you put under the wings. And you get the big drop tanks, which are cool. And then you get some more pylon things that you clip under the wings to put more bomb features on. And you get some now you go wow that's a nice looking bomb there. Sidewinder or missile I think it might be. It's really nice. A lovely kit guys. You get your rockets as well. Yeah, I think he's gonna love this kit. He's gonna love it. And then not forgetting the cockpit glass. It's actually really, I'm actually really astonished at the kit to be honest with you. For a 1998 kit, it actually really caught me by surprise to be honest. Um, I would have normally built it myself, but nah, I'm going to be nice and kind and I'm going to send this one to my friend. Because it is a gift to him, I'm not receiving any money for it or anything, I'm just sending it to him because... Just sending it to him because he's a great mate of mine, so... I hope you like it, Graham. I hope you like it. So the book is actually quite old as well. I can just tell it's old straight away because some of it's all faded and uh, some of it's, it's looking kind of yellowish. So <laughs> it's a bit weird like but hey as long as he can follow the instructions on it which he can do I'm sure he'll make this out to be a really nice aircraft. I'm sure of it. Pretty sweet guys, pretty sweet. See how many steps come into it. And this is a tiger meat version, so oh yeah. And there's the decals. So the decals don't look bad, but uh we'll see how it goes um if uh you can put them on without them breaking. I mean if you can't Graham and to cause you a bit of trouble and stuff like that I might be able to get you some aftermarket decals for it so just give me a shout mate yeah 1998 but I'm sure these look alright they don't feel like they're going to break or anything so they should go on okay like I said just give me a shout um, so there's all your bombs and all your alignments there so Oh god, it's <laughs> he's gonna love this. And you get your decal steps where you put all the decals on and stuff. That's really cool. And I suppose he'd be doing this one, the Tiger Meat one, like I would. So, yep. So basically, that's basically what he gets with the whole plane itself. So. So that's basically what you get with the kick grim. So there's like four sprues, there's clear parts and the decals. And thank you for watching this review and I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um I will be progressing onto a new camera soon guys, so don't worry about that. There'll be some more good uh, reviews coming and I'm gonna actually do um an in progress review. So I'm going to be showing you steps and steps, how I've built the kit and stuff like that, just to show you. And um, this one's for you, Graham. so I hope you really like this kit, because I'm sending it just to say a big thank you to you, um, for being such a good friend to me. And like, subscribe, because that really means a lot to me too, guys. I hope you have a lovely Easter, and I will see you all in the next um time that i do a next review it will be the yunkers u 88 um 130 second scale and it will be on rebel so stay tuned for that guys have a nice day bye now